When a section of the I-5 bridge over the Skagit River collapsed after an oversized load hit the structure on May 23, 2013, the Washington State Department of Transportation faced the challenge of quickly restoring service on the bridge, a critical link between Seattle and Vancouver, British Columbia, and used by 70,000 vehicles per day. Governor Jay Inslee, WashDOT managers, the Federal Highway Administration, and Washington State's federal delegation immediately moved forward with a plan to replace this critical link of Interstate 5. Initially, the challenge was met with the installation of a temporary ACRO bridge installed under an emergency contract by the Guy F. Atkinson Company and opened to traffic less than a month after the accident. Meanwhile, WashDOT moved swiftly on a permanent fix of the 58-year-old structure. An emergency design build procurement was undertaken and on the same day the bridge reopened with the temporary replacement span, WashDOT awarded a contract to the Max J. Cuny Company to construct a permanent replacement of the damaged section of the bridge. We hired some really brilliant people in public-private partnership, Parsons Griffinhoff and uh, Cooney Construction in Spokane, and we were able to get that bridge up. We were told it was going to take six to eight months. Moving a 900-ton bridge, they built a 900-ton permanent replacement bridge in a very innovative system right next to the bridge and then rolled it over and just in about a 12-hour operation and moved 900 tons using a, a cool system of Teflon jacks and the like. And two weeks ago we got the permanent bridge up and that surpassed what anybody said we were going to be able to do across the country. Parsons Brinkerhoff designed the replacement structure as part of the CUNY team and using virtual design and construction developed a plan under which the permanent replacement span would be installed within three months. Engineers from CUNY, Parsons Brinkerhoff, and heavy moving expert Omega Morgan worked collaboratively with WashDOT to meet the aggressive schedule. CUNY's construction crews assembled the replacement span on temporary piles just west of the bridge. By mid-August, eight enormous concrete girders were in place to support the new roadway. WashDOT chose the weekend of September 14th and 15th to install the permanent span. The bridge was closed to traffic at 7 p.m. that Saturday. Over the next 19 hours, construction crews cut one and three quarter inch thick steel plates to free the temporary bridge and used hydraulic jacks to slide the 500 ton temporary span to a waiting platform for disassembly. Then four hydraulic jacks and rams lifted and slid the new 915-ton, 165-foot-long permanent concrete span into place. At 2 o'clock on Sunday afternoon, the bridge was reopened to traffic. A testament to WashDOT's determination to quickly restore a critical transportation link and to the teamwork with engineering and construction companies that made it happen.